Hey, what's going on everybody? David here and welcome back to another video. Today's video was actually supposed to be the Blu-ray Buyer's Guide for Incredibles 2. Unfortunately, that was not able to happen. Uh, and I guess I'll explain really quickly. Um, the reason is I'm in the middle of buying a house. Um, so those funds that I usually put aside and kind of, you know, uh, estimate for, for, for this kind of thing, um, they had to go somewhere else. So I hope you guys understand. And also, I mean, you're going to figure it out at some point. <laughs> that, that things are going to be missing off of the shelf and things like that. Um, and and don't freak out or nothing like that. Uh, nothing's happened. It's just me packing my things away, getting ready for the move. Um, that probably won't be for a couple of weeks. So if somebody did ask me, well, does that mean that you're not going to be making, you know, like that many videos? No, I'm still going to be making videos. Um, actually, I'm going to try to be doing uh, a lot more videos. Um, if that's, you know, in, in this case, um, just so that way, you know, things kind of feel like they're, they're still rolling, you know, they're still normal. Um, and I'm going to be experimenting with some, probably some different backdrops and things like that. So it, it may be this again <laughs> in the background, but it may not be, um, just be prepared for that. But anyway, I did want to make a video today because there were two pretty cool steel books that came out. First up, we have the 4k steel book. Uh, this is the 4k best buy exclusive steel book for wreck it ralph uh we have the arcade game uh artwork here on the front ralph front and center really cool i love this movie a lot this was a really fun movie um and i cannot wait for the next one ralph breaks the internet uh that's gonna be so cool uh but anyway i had to get this one i had to pick this one up and fun fact i actually did get a chance to play uh an actual fix it felix arcade game which they're 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 fairly rare uh, there's not a whole lot of them in, in, in the world or in the U.S. Um, and I actually got to play one. That was really, really cool. If I find the picture, uh, maybe I can post it up on, on... Maybe I'll post it up on Instagram. How about that? Anyway, cool here. Awesome. And here goes the back here. These animated movies, these, these Disney movies, look really good on 4K. I know a lot of people are going, kind of like, well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's animated. How, how good can it look? It looks really good. It looks nice and sharp. Co colors are usually uh, really, really clear and uh, really vibrant, I should say. Um, and and it just looks nice, man. Uh, there's something about an, an, an animated movie in like full on like clarity that looks really, really attractive. Anyway, let's go ahead and pop this open. I haven't had a chance to obviously I'm opening that now. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to to, to watch it just yet, but um, I'm gonna be sure to uh, to comment on the the. 4k quality at some point all right oh man it looks really cool let's go ahead and take off this j card Ooh, let's take a look at that again really really nice it is a glossy a glossy steel book but i actually don't mind it actually doesn't look bad um and then there's some nice uh embossing here around ralph himself it's really cool disney logo there that's not embossed at all and then some nice uh, debossing, it looks like some embossing and debossing in the buttons and the joystick there. Really cool. I like that. And then here goes the back, which looks like an arcade machine. Really nice. Again, another fun fact, I actually built my own arcade, arcade machine at some point when I was, uh, I think, about 18 years old, which was a lifetime away. <laughs> um and hopefully, uh, I, I want to build another one very soon. And I may document all that on this channel. Maybe. I, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But uh, if you guys are interested in something like that, let me know in the comments. Um, all right. So it does come with digital copy. And let's take a look at the disc here. This is the 4K disc for Wreck-It Ralph. Love that there's disc art. You guys know me and disc art. All right. And then here goes the Blu-ray for Wreck-It Ralph. All right, let's take a look at the inside here. The interior artwork, nice uh, nice pattern there with Ralph saying, Arrgh! <laughs> That's it. Nothing too, 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 too fancy, but I do like the pattern that they did pick for the interior. It's going to be a cool, like, this actually would be a cool wallpaper for a kid in their room. But cool, I like it. I dig it. All right. So let's go ahead and put this aside. And then next up, I had to get it. I, I really did. 
Um, I had to get this this next title. And again, it was supposed to be a Blu-ray buyer's guide, but I at least had to get the steel book. And that's for Incredibles 2. <laughs> so you can see here, this is like a washing machine type of uh, artwork here on the front. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right. And then here goes the back here. If you guys don't know what it's about, and check out the special features as well. All right. Take off this J card here. Ooh, this one's stuck on here. What the? Whoa. They put a lot of that gunk on there. Look at that. That's a lot. It was stuck on there pretty good too. All right. So you have a closer look here at the washing machine type of uh, artwork here. This Disney Pixar up on top. All right. There's some nice debossing here on the, on the front, which is really cool. And this this one is more of a, a matte finish, but it does have some some spots of glossiness, like up here, right here, right here, and around the the little window there. Which I, I dig that. That's cool. And then here goes the back here. <laughs> nice little artwork on the back. All right, let's open this up. It does have digital copy. And let's take a look here. We have the 4K disc. Four Incredibles 2. Really, really cool. And then we have the Blu-ray disc for Incredibles 2. And we also have the, let me see here, Blu-ray uh, bonus disc for Incredibles 2. All right, let's take a look at this interior artwork here, which I like this a lot. That looks really cool. And it, it, it almost is in line with the uh, the, uh, the the first Incredibles 4K uh, steelbook that they released not too long ago. I like that artwork. I kind of do wish that maybe something like this was done on the outside to kind of match the first one. But I do like that at least there's some, some kind of consistency with uh, the interior artwork and the artwork, you know, the cover artwork on the other one. That's cool. I dig that a lot. And then here goes the front, back, and spine. For The Incredibles 2, this is the 4K Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook. I don't think I did the front, back, and spine for the other one. Here we are. Front, back, and spine for Wrecked Ralph. This is the 4K Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook as well. Uh, each of these was $35. Um, now, when I went in to, to, uh, to get these, to pick these up, um, there was a pretty good amount of them, actually. Uh, I think a little bit more Incredibles 2 than Wrecked Ralph. So just you know, FYI on that, if you guys are really looking for both, uh, just be on be on the on the prowl on the lookout that you know Wreck It Ralph may be out sold out a little sooner than The Incredibles two. Just FYI again. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I know I really wish that I could have done a full Blu-ray buyer's guide, but there will be other chances. Trust me. Um, you just you guys just gotta bear with me just for a little while until I get things settled. Um, as far as, you know, th this, uh, this new venture that I'm going into. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. If you dug it or found it informative in any way, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well, because I will be coming back with new videos as always. And with all that being said, we will catch you next time. And I am, I am out of breath. <laughs>